economy okay uh, and I'm currently because I'm from the old economy I'm a blockchain advisor for a company doing mining in terms of Louis, Sapphires, Emeralds and that type and what we're doing now uh, I'm consulting for a company that has property assets in uh, Pakistan and uh, what we want to do now is to transform this entire industry of uh, gemstone mining which is the whole way now you know artisanal you know, mining so what we're going to do is put the blockchain in IoT so that we are able to track it from the start, you know, the genesis block or whatever until the end. And that's where you can follow where, you know, the, the value is being added uh, along the way. So, uh, you know, Pakistan has probably the highest uh, two trillion worth of minerals. And, you know, in there, what we're going to do is like basically acquire assets. And each asset there, you know, you go after mountains and each mountain has about 70 million to 100 million carats. And that's very exciting. So I look for mountains, okay? Thank you, right. Thank you. And for us, it, it's also good business, you know. You won't create a business if you don't have the off-take customer, right? So this forces us to find the customer first before we even talk about the business. Thank Five you. minutes on, on that. Sure. So you see, when you talk about gemstones, it's the oldest of the oldest. Not only it's old, you don't have a lot of big miners for gemstones, unlike gold and, and, and the rest of this, okay? So gemstones really now depends on luck, but if you are good enough, if you can get a stone at the beginning, from raw to cut, usually can make 10 times of value. But as I said, you need to see the, the, the entire thing. So there's, there's essentially three steps here, and I'm going to go to these three steps on how we can add value. The first is at the mine itself, you know, the second is basically if you're purchasing the gemstones and the third is basically the cutting, polishing and all that and each one has places where you can value and for example when you go in a mine, nowadays they just go by experience or oh, I'm looking at the texture like this, the mining engineer looks like this, the geologist looks like that, uh, the gemologist looks like this, okay here why don't you knock that? I've seen that not resulting in tunnels that lead to nowhere. Okay, well, it's just not economic, but through new devices, through new sensors, you at least know where to now. Because, you know, when I talk about mines, they're big. Now, I, I, when I was entering this first, I said, hey, how are we going to bring the gemstones out? I said, Shukri, relax. You only get this much in one month of mine. <laughs> so, so, that's a, you, you, you really don't have a lot. So, if you have something like IoT that can track this, and then, then, then you can get more output. Now, once the gemstone come out, you have to track it because you want to know the genesis, you know, where did it come from, okay, if there are two emeralds, then an emerald from Colombia is probably more worth than an emerald from Timbuktu. When you talk about rubies, it's all about Burmese, everyone will say it's Burmese rubies, so you need the origination of where it is, and you can tag this with IoT devices now, you won't go to the technology, but you can do it to this DNA or, or even a device now that they tag on pharmaceuticals that you're probably eating. And they track those, those little pills, okay, this can be easily used for them. So, so once you get that, you know the origination. Yeah. And once you know the origination, you know where to actually mine, you can probably get 10 times. Now the next thing is the purchasing of this. There are a lot of small miners uh, there, at least in Pakistan, that sell this. Okay, they want to sell the gemstones. And they usually sell it for credit. If you can give them cash early on, bingo, you can get an 80 to 90% discount of what you would normally pay them. Again, you're creating value to that. Next is going through what we call the lapidary process. This is the processing, this is the cutting, this is the polishing and adding value. And that's a, 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 another 10 times actually. And so important is this cutting. Okay, that you, if you uh, recall this name, Movado, M O M O V A D O, it's diamonds that are specially cut to reflect light in a certain way. And it's used a lot in, 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 in watches. Okay, just look that up. That cut is even patented. So you see, such an old industry, if you don't know, you could be stuck at, 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 at lower levels and not make money, whereas the guys who know this or who are able to put this entire value chain together can make money. And if you have a blockchain here, then you can trace where all these gemstones are going, right? And not only that, you can go beyond. And this is why you see like things like the Hope Diamond, uh, it, it was what from the French Revolution, Queen Victoria is now worth 250 million in the Smithsonian Institute, supposed to bring a curse. See, that because they know who owned it. If Shukri has a gem, you don't want my death. So, again, this is where IoT creates true value. Now, let me give you a real life example, uh, again, from, from, from what, 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 what we, where, where we visited, of how the value creation is added. Now, again, from start to finish, when you buy the gemstones, is in kilogram. 
when you sell is in carrots. That's the big thing. And who knows the value chain can make the most money here. Now, I've met a guy who has a small business. He only has two machines, two girls. So no stressful. He buys the stones at 2,000 ringgit. Each batch of stones buys at 2,000. He can sell it at 80,000 ringgit. That's value for you. But you have to have it connected. Now it's Randall. You do it IoT. It's even better. Thank you for the uh, really, really game changer. The next one was mass production. If you remember Model mm -hmm. Ford, you can have everything but black. Okay. Uh, and the third one was basically automation. I remember when I was younger, you know, manufacturing in Malaysia at that time was still manual, and we put a lot of robotics in automation so that we could run it. So now suddenly the fourth one is all about connected devices. To me, this is very simple. You, you have to see the entirety of the entire value chain and you have to start thinking from top down to bottom. We didn't do that before. We had always thinking bottom up and getting cyber and I have to talk with him and I hope he talks with him and I hope he talks with him and everything works out. Now it's... Thank you so much. Because we are talking about the industry... Right, the Amashimri founder of the Persona.